Hey everybody, I'm working on an iPhone 7 Plus here that's going to wind up winning today. This thing has got me beat and I'm going to go ahead and back out of this one and call it a no fix. But before I do, I think it would be really important for me to share my experience with you guys. This phone originally came in for no image and I took the screen off of it. I tested it with the customer's screen. I tested it with my screen and sure enough, it was absolutely freaking lootly no image. So what I did from there is I put it under the microscope, I zoomed in here on J4502, the display connector, and I checked every single pin here in diode mode for anything that could be wrong. Everything passed just, just peachy perfect. So then I'm like, okay, why doesn't this get an image? It's not like a technician damaged phone where you just blatantly find something wrong. It's just like this thing spontaneously quit getting an image for some reason. So looking at this thing closer, what I wound up finding out is that it appeared to have just a tiny bit of solder popping out from pin one here on L3903. And I started to I picked the rubbery coating off of this and sure enough, it was missing most of the solder from pin one here. It had squeezed out from underneath the coating. And uh, looking at it closer, C3936 was actually corroded and looked to be shorted. I'm thinking maybe a tiny drop of liquid. Uh, in fact, this one did, this guy was suspicious of liquid, but there was no other trace of liquid on this thing anywhere other than just right here, uh, right here in this area. So uh, from there, I went ahead and I removed C3936 and I resoldered L3903. I was sure resoldering L3903 would get this thing to get and it would make this phone get an image. Now, after all that, I had resoldered L3903, I had removed C3936, I was sure that uh, any shorts would be gone. So just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and checked VDD main for a short and we had 30 ohms to ground. So uh, 30 ohms to ground is no good for VDD main. And uh, what I wound up finding is that the short was actually internal to the PCB. It might have been caused by me removing that capacitor, C3936, but I'm not 100% sure. So I started to apply power to VDD main, and what I found out is that I would get a 20 milliamp load, and the area of C3930, uh, C3936, it would get blistering hot, and it would just boil away my alcohol. And it was obviously a short right there. So I dug in with my blade a little bit and I carved around the little via that appeared to be shorted and that cleared the short. And after I cleared the short, I had a phone that would boot with an image. So, ah, uh, yay. So what I assumed we had here was a VDD main short that got hot enough to squeeze the solder off of L3903. I thought everything was gonna be fine. So I proceeded to put UV mask on my repair. I cured it up. Everything was going to be just fine until I put the phone all the way back together. No image. Really? Seriously? No image. So from there, I took the customer's screen off of the phone and I put one of my beautiful test screens back on the phone and the phone booted with an image. No problem. So like, wow, what's the, what's the odds here? What's the odds of this coincidentally this phone having an issue with no image combined with the customer having a faulty screen with no image, you know, what, what's the odds? So I plugged the customer screen back into it, no image, plug my screen back into it, image, it's like, okay. So I started to type this guy a message that his, his screen was bad and all of a sudden my screen goes blank and is not getting, it's not getting an image, it's acting weird. So here's where the important thing comes in. I'm gonna show you what it is that I found on this phone, and I'm gonna show you why it is that I'm gonna go ahead and let this one win. I'm not, I'm not dealing with this any longer. Although my diode mode readings were all correct, everything was peachy perfect, let me show you the way this phone behaves, okay? What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make it so that you can see my hands. I'm not going to, let's see, let's just use the screen that this phone came with, okay? I'm gonna hook it up here and let's see if we get an image. We've got the DC power supply on the screen and we have no shorts to ground. I'm pushing the power button. Okay, now this phone is not getting an image, okay? I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but we do have backlight. So this is a backlight, no image situation. We're gonna let this phone boot 
all the way up. So let's just give this a second to boot. And we're waiting. Now to tell when it's booted all the way up, I think I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go by the backlight here on the back. So once the backlight goes off, uh, we can safely assume that this thing is booted. Dun, 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 dun. Am I that patient? Can I really wait that long? No, let's just start slamming the power button. There we go. Image. Off. Image. Okay. Now image is working. It didn't immediately work on boot, but now it is working. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to turn the power supply off. And I'm going to try to catch this thing in the state of being messed up. So I'm turning the power supply back on. I'm going to push the button to prompt to boot. Okay, now this phone is booting but with no image. I'm going to turn the power supply off. I'm going to disconnect my power supply and I'm going to disconnect this beloved screen assembly okay the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put you under the microscope with me and we're gonna go over the pins here responsible for image and oh by the way just ignore the uh, small little burn mark on the connector that must have been some other guy messing with this phone we've got the multimeter set up for diode mode I'm not gonna go over every single pin within this connector we are just gonna go over the pins here for image data uh, we're gonna go over uh, these chokes that I was messing with that I thought would get image on the screen and if you'll notice if we get right down in there next to that second choke there it's got it's got pretty solder on it man I resoldered that sucker good I was for sure I had this phone fixed okay so let's go ahead I'm gonna take diode mode measurements across these image data pins and I'm gonna put my red probe on ground and I'm gonna put my black probe to the pin and let's check the first one okay this is a normal reading we're getting a 0.45 okay on my meter your meter might be different basically with these readings I'm looking for extreme highs and extreme lows um, if it's open line then you know something's not right or if it's zero 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 something's not right I'm looking for highs and lows I don't actually know the individual diode mode readings for every single pin but it's pretty easy to spot a problem so here we go on the first one we're getting a 0.45 on the second pin of this inductor we're getting a 0.45 that's good our next pin here will be ground because each one of these image chokes is separated by a ground let's move on to our problem choke here whoa wait a minute 0.1 okay we're getting we're getting a pretty good connection to ground on this one a point one and if we go on to the next one we're getting a point four five that's right and then we're gonna get ground okay and then we're gonna get a point four five and then another point four five okay the point four five here with my meter that is normal behavior for these image data chokes so let's back up a little bit what's going on here with pin one on L3903 it's a point one zero it's it's something is stuck okay now before I started this video and whenever I was actually working on this phone my reading on that was more like point zero zero one it was like all the way to ground so I planned on having a solid short to show you guys but that's not actually the case uh, it's not a solid short right now but it is definitely a short so back over here under the microscope I've still got my red probe on ground and checking pin 1 on that inductor a point one zero. now watch what happens if I reverse my leads I'm gonna put my black probe on ground and I'm gonna put my red probe at that inductor okay now we're getting a point one zero. It's, it's the same it's gonna troll me okay but let's switch it back I've reversed I've reversed the polarity now we're gonna switch back and we're gonna test this again you mofo okay now whenever before I decided to do a video on this by switching polarity I could actually get that thing to come unstuck and then get a normal reading on it so let's try that again nope nope it's staying stuck at point one okay I am gonna try let's see let's use my beloved test screen 
Okay. And let's hook this up to a power supply. Let's turn it on and see if she'll get an image. Okay, it is now booting with an image. Maybe it's something to do with that screen shorting it out, but I don't think so. It, 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 it has gotten no image with my screen as well. It's been pretty intermittent. Okay, so now with that phone getting an image, let's go back in and let's do diode mode readings on that same exact pin. Okay, so I'm putting my red probe on ground, and I'm going to put my black probe at our problem data line here, and we get 0 0.10. That is so weird. Okay, guys. I, I had set out to have something really good to show, but I don't actually have anything good to show because now it's not behaving the same. Before I decided to do a video, this pin would read almost a flat bang to ground. I mean, it was reading 0, 0.0, I mean, it was 0, 0.0 something. It wasn't 0, 0.1, and whenever I would reverse polarity, I could get it to come unstuck, and it would come back up to reading a 0.45. So I don't know how to explain this behavior here, but it has absolutely changed. Um, nevertheless, this iPhone 7 Plus, I'm going to shuffle this out of here as a no-fix, because if you look at the schematics on this one, L3903, if we look at the other side of L3903 and where that actually goes... This goes to a line that's 90 MIPI AP to LCM data 1. And if you look to see where that actually goes, that is a line that goes directly to the CPU. So what I've got here is another iPhone 7 that has a fault related to the CPU slash baseband CPU slash RAM. Um, this is not something that I'm able to dig in and fix. This phone will actually boot up and work. And if he fiddles with it, it'll eventually get an image. But... Uh, Darn, I really wish that would have worked out. I was hoping to show everybody the craziness of this thing. Uh, because, seriously, I could reverse polarity and then switch it back, and I would get a 0.45 on that pin as well. Uh, that pin as well. So I was hoping to demonstrate something getting, getting stuck inside the CPU, but no. I start the camera, and everything everything breaks so guys that's going to be it for this video uh, i don't think you'll learn anything from this because if you're doing diode mode measurements along the connector uh, chances are you would have found this uh, I, I promise it was reading right it, it was reading right dang it have a good day everybody